Hello everyone and welcome to another video by me, the Techie Prepper. Today I'm going to be showing you a design and build of something that may be a little bit out there for some of you, but it's one of my more popular builds. Um, every time somebody comes to my house, they inevitably ask about it. It does stand out a little bit, but uh, it's very functional and uh, a lot of people have asked me to help build them or to give them parts list, that type of thing, so I figured I'd throw it up here. I live in a middle-class neighborhood in Florida. There's not a whole lot of crime here, uh, except for small petty crime from uh, primarily high school students. Um, I live near a high school, and a lot of the uh, students actually come from surrounding neighborhoods, and they walk through my neighborhood, and they look for you know petty crime opportunities to steal this or steal that. Kids being kids, what can you do? So um, I had a neighbor that had a bike stolen out of the garage in broad daylight <laughs> by a teenager. And I have uh, another neighbor who had tools stolen out of their vehicle at night. I have video cameras on my house and they uh, actually caught them on film, you know, well, digital, I guess, but they caught them on SD cards and uh, the resolution wasn't good enough because it was a little too far away. Um, so they really couldn't identify the suspects. So it was kind of a bummer, but so I needed a new mailbox because mine was falling down. So I decided to build this. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it on the screen, but I'll put it up there somewhere, show you a picture, and then I'll go into some detail of the build itself. Um, I did all the woodwork myself and all of the design and build of the electrical components myself. And um, as I mentioned, there was a little bit of crime in the area, so I took it upon myself to build my mailbox that would be a standalone. There's no power out there, no AC power from my house. So it was a standalone solar powered mailbox with two video cameras, one facing east down the street and the other facing west down the street so I could capture everybody coming and going through the neighborhood on my street. Um, if you have a use for this, that's great. Um, like I said, uh, I've talked to people that have come up to do work at my house and one of them has a driveway that's like 100 feet long and they wanted to uh, build something like this there. I think they probably have, last time he was here, he said he was starting the, the woodworking portion of it. So uh, good for him. And uh, so basically what this allows you to have is a little sense of security around your house. Mine happens to be Wi-Fi because it's close to the house, but it also has rolling storage on the SD cards in each camera. So in case you don't have Wi-Fi to actually bring the signal up to your house so you can view it on your phone or that type or on your computer, um, there's always that built-in storage. Um, so if it is 300 feet, 500 feet down at the edge of your property, you can uh, always go and pull that, that data if you need to. Or you can build you know, a little bit more robust of a, a radio um, uh, link between you know, your Wi-Fi and the, the, the cameras. So anyways, uh, I'm getting a little bit too far into the weeds here. So let me show you what it's like and then, um, you know, how I built it and the components and everything, give you a little peek inside and then you can uh, uh, get a little better understanding of exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so now that I've explained a little bit about what it is, let's take a walk out and actually give you an idea of how it looks in the yard. This is uh, obviously from behind, walking up on it, and you can see I have the plant bed around it. I have the two solar panels on each, one on each side. I have one on the top, and you can see I have a wise cam uh, protected from the elements with a casing, one pointed uh, down the street to the east. and the other pointed down the street to the west. So I get a pretty good view of uh, everything happening uh, on my street, people that approach, so that's a good thing. Um, you can see the, uh, I'll walk around it and show you. Of course I built the flag in on the side. Definitely needs to be painted. It's been there a while, it's getting some sun fade. My mailbox on the front, and as you can see, I built a little flower box. That's pretty much the front view for the road. 
Not too bad. You can't really tell there's uh, cameras on it until you come right up on it. You can see on either side I have the half watt LED. One in the front and another on this side in case you didn't see it. So now let me break it open and I'll show you the inside and how it's laid out. Um, yeah, you can see I, this is actually floating right now. Uh, the installation on the side, I have brackets underneath to basically support each solar panel. And these are all 20, these are 25 watt solar panels. And this one is a 30. So basically I have 80 watts uh, all together going into it. Now let me crack it open. Oh, just before I go uh, and actually open it up, I'll show you. I have um, hanger bolts and wing nuts on a built-in um, door on the back. for access to everything inside. So let me break it open and then I'll show you. Well, maybe I can do it actually right now while I can show you the top portion of it anyways. Yeah, let's see. You can see it's just floating, so it will lift up and out. As you can see, I do have it chained down so um, nobody can walk up and just easily walk off with my panel if they do realize that it's just setting in there. I built it in with a uh, the the four by four posts inside and then the one on the exterior is built up a little bit over the top of the post so it acts as a frame to frame in that solar panel so let me open it up and uh, i'll be right back and show you what it looks like inside okay now that i've got it open let me give you a top down view first you can look inside So there I have my PWM charge controller, right there. This is my photo switch, which basically is a light sensing switch that turns the LED lights off and on. When it gets dark, it obviously closes the switch and turns them on, and then in the morning it opens and turns them off. These are all the wires actually for the lights. They connect in series. They're just kind of hanging in there because they're protected. I had to put this in here because this is an open slat construction. It's an open slat build. So you can see inside there's a approximately a quarter inch between each of the slats to allow ventilation. I wanted to do that because it's hot here in Florida and I wanted to get some airflow through. The only problem with that is rain has a tendency to blow sideways sometimes here and it blew in from the sides. So I had to put a little piece of tar paper fastened down. So that would protect the battery. That is a 12 volt, 20 amp hour Life PO4 with a built-in BMS. So it you can't overcharge it, you can't undercharge it, the BMS protects it. And that is covered up by the tar paper to keep that protected. And then that feeds a terminal block, which is also there. Maybe I'll see it on the back, hopefully. You'll see down in there. And that's what uh, everything is connected to. Let me take you to the back now. That's my battery voltage right there. It's 13.3 at the moment, and it is not even 10 o'clock yet. So um, that'll go up to about 14.2 on a good day, 13.8 uh, normally, you know, when, with a mixture of sun and clouds. The BMS uh, will cut it off at that point. So let me go through how this works one time. I'll try to make it as simple as possible, although there are wires routed everywhere. The three solar panels feed in parallel to this terminal block right here. And the reason for that, I, I have them in parallel specifically because um, it, it, they're located on the east side and the west side of the box. So in the morning, the east side gets full sun, the top gets full sun, and you can probably see the west side is shaded. 
as the sun travels over, obviously, from east to west during the day. In the afternoon, the one on the east side will be shaded and the one on the west side will be in sun. So um, basically that allows me to have two solar panels providing power to charge and run everything at any given time. Of course, for about an hour during the day, all three, when the sun is directly overhead, all three will be getting some sun and, and providing power. So they all feed into here. This is the, the terminal strip. And then they feed into my charge controller. This happens to be a 30 amp PWM charge controller that uh, is designed to use lithium batteries. So um, hopefully you can see the PV is flashing, which means it's getting juice from the panels. The battery is good and the blue indicates a uh, lithium battery. So it's all set up properly. So the panels feed the block that feeds the charge controller. The charge controller feeds over directly to the battery. The leads come off the battery. That's 12 volts. The leads come off the battery. They feed the terminal block in the back and that feeds power to basically two systems. The first system is the LED lights that come on at night automatically. So basically the, the 12 volt feed comes off of here, goes up to my photo switch and then from there it goes and it feeds the three LED lights. You see the wiring for those um, and th they are in series as I mentioned and then you know there's just the because they're in series there is a dead end that's not connected to anything and then the other system that the battery feeds off hey. the terminal block is the uh, cameras. So it feeds the step down 12 volts comes into the step down and, and it, comes out as two five volt USB, typical USB feeds, and they actually um, plug right in to the cables that came with the two Wise cams. So that's essentially how it's set up, and it works well. There's a um, SD card, a micro SD card actually, and that holds two days worth of uh, rolling video footage so um, I'll be able to see anything going on up and down the street cars going by people going by that type of thing so it lets me know who who's here and I can also access that live anytime because it's powered day and night by the solar panels and the battery so that's pretty much it this is how it looks with the, the back off you can see And it's very stout. Um, some people have asked me what I'm going to do if somebody comes with a baseball bat and hits it. And there are, you can see there are four four by four posts and they're buried two feet in the ground with about 50 pounds of concrete each. So if somebody hits this with a bat, they're going to get some serious reverb and it's, it's going to hurt the wrist. Trust me. So anyways, um, I'm going to button this all back up and then I'll see you guys back inside. Okay, so now that you've seen the insides of the mailbox, uh, and the outsides actually, uh, hopefully uh, you can take this knowledge and you don't have to build the same type of mailbox I did if you're, if you're interested in it. You can, uh, you know, make your own. You can make any form you'd like, uh, put it in any type of uh, structure that you'd like. It doesn't have to be like that one in particular, but the most important thing is you have the capability to capture video uh, in a remote location. I mean, that's really the biggest takeaway here. And uh, if you want to copy my mailbox, that's fine. Um, I'd be more than happy to answer any questions or comments that you have. Um, but if you'd like to build it another way, that's fine too. True story. I had a guy contact me that, that saw it and he wanted to, he was having, uh, he was a contractor and he was having a lot of his building supplies, uh, you know, they're in a short supply these days. Uh, he was having them stolen from his site and he wanted to build something similar to this. So I kind of worked with him and I helped him and we built a, uh, um, basically a hardened model of this that you couldn't steal off the site and cameras were built into a nice secure box. Um, so there are many uses for this and hopefully if you're interested, you can co come up with one of your own or um, you can copy mine. Thank you for watching my video. I appreciate your support. 
Links to any of the products covered in my videos can be found below, as well as a link to my website, thetechieprepper.com. On the website, I actually go into a little more detail, uh, showing some uh, basic schematics, more detailed photos, and that type of thing for everything that I cover uh, within my YouTube videos. So don't be afraid to go there and check it out if you're interested. Uh, as you can probably tell from the video production, I do this as a hobby. I have a full-time job, but my YouTube videos I put out there to hopefully help people better prepare for emergencies or to endure emergencies with a little more comfort and capability. So that being said, if you are interested in my content or you liked it, please like, subscribe, hit the notification button so you know when I have a new video coming out. And also important is to share with friends, family, anybody who you think might be interested in this content and you might want to help out, uh, you know, like I said, to better prepare for emergencies. So um, that's all I have for now. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate it. And hopefully I'll have something cool to show you next time. Thanks. Bye.